Good morning and thank you, first of all. Uh, I don't think there's really any barriers. There's a lot of challenges that we do face uh, in the shipping world. Uh, one of the most critical barriers or challenges that we all face now is sanctions. Right? There's, so there's a lot of sanctions going on with the Russian-Ukrainian situation. And the problem with the sanctions is that they're inconsistent. No one really knows what the ultimate effect will be. And so it's a very confusing time. And a lot of people, it's sanctions that are coming from the EU, the United States, and many other countries. So that's one challenge. We face other challenges too. Another challenge that we face is with the CO2 uh, omissions and the standards that are being placed. So far, we've been able to handle them. But with the new regulations kicking in in 2030 and in 2050, there's going to have to be a significant technological advance in order for us to meet those regulations. Um, another challenge is, is really the economic uh, conditions that we all face. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a volatile freight market. There is um, inconsistent vessel values, a supply and demand. So uh, those are the three main that I would say that we're facing right now. talked about earlier, one of the main challenges that we all face now are the sanctions. So in, in my view, compliance and setting forth systems within each maritime entity, whether it's a vessel owner, a vessel charter, an operator, they have to set up full compliance programs where uh, they do their due diligence investigations, they have various platforms to check and see. There's two principles, know your client and know your client's client. So that's one thing that they're going to have to implement. The other is um, training, training, better training for crew, better uh, training and, and excitement to attract people into the shipping industry, um, educating the young what this industry is all about. And uh, finally, um, I think that there's a lot of focus should be on ESG principles. Um, a lot of companies will look at investors, will look at whether those companies have environmental, social and governance principles in place. So I think that's what the three focuses should be.